Yo, what's up guys, Clinton here. Welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can be able to build your online store for absolutely zero dollar forever. Your store will keep on running for you for as long as you want. No monthly fee and no funny business here. Okay, this is going to be a very good option for you if you absolutely, absolutely want to start up your own uh, online store. For free the only downside here that you would um, uh, you would experience here which doesn't really matter is that you uh, you get to post only five products that you can sell but five products that's a lot if you are actually starting up like five products and you're selling for free Wow that's really a game changer just a brief um, uh, wrap up on this one uh, this website actually uh, offers free service forever and they also give uh, a premium service whereby you have to pay. For instance, uh, this free account, you can actually post uh, only five products for sale, but if you actually get to start uh, paying for the premium, you can actually uh, you can actually increase the number of products that you can actually uh, publish uh, up to 5,000 uh, products. For me, that's a lot. If you're just starting up and you don't want to actually make any payments right from the beginning, this website is going to be a game changer for you. Without wasting much time, stick with me on today's video and watch it all through to the end. And if it's something you you, you find yourself uh, interested in, then you can go ahead and follow up with the video. I'll be dropping the link in the description so that you can actually follow the step by step. Click on that link and then follow up along with my video, where I'll be, I will explain to you what you should actually put in different section of the registration process. Without wasting much time, let's go into this one. All right, guys. So this is the website here you can check in the description for a direct link and when you click on the link it's going to take you to this page and from here and from here all you need to do right now is just to go ahead and click on get started for free when you click on that it's going to bring you up to this uh, page here and from here you can actually just go ahead and fill up your name your email and choose a password that you'd like to use and then click on next it's going to take you to the next step but you can actually go ahead and sign up with your apple or sign up with your facebook or sign up with your google account for instance now i'm using chrome uh, when you click on sign up with google account it's going to actually show you the list of google accounts that this chrome you're using is actually logged into all right guys so after you have successfully uh, imputed your information on the first page and click on um, next it's going to bring you up to this page and from here all you need to do is to um, edit this because it's going to be here um, uh, for mine it just showed me Philippines but I checked out for you guys It's actually um, available in a lot of other countries here okay so we don't need to worry about that and from here, all you need to do right now is just to uh, edit the store name. You have to give your store a name that is related to what you'll actually be selling. Okay, for here, I'm just going to leave it on Tech Hub. Okay, so um, after that, after you've, 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 you've uh, selected your store name, just go ahead, click on Next. And from here, you have to go ahead and impute your city, your state, your uh, postal and zip code. All right. After you've uh, filled your zip code and um, from the from from your step two, and press next, they're gonna bring you here. Um, do you already have an experience selling? You can just go ahead and just select an option. Um, I'm selling in person. Or just go ahead, choose. Well, I'm just gonna leave it here and I'm selling in person already. Or I'm selling online and in person. You can just go ahead and just, you know, check out what suits you. And from here, they're gonna ask us uh, what point of sale system are you using? I'm just gonna go select none. What type of product will you be selling? Um, I can just go ahead and choose maybe beauty or uh, product. Uh, in your case, I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, choose. Um, apparel shoes and accessories or electronics and computer uh, I'll go ahead and choose this one okay so uh, are you setting up a store for someone else go ahead uh, choose no but if you are actually setting it up for someone 
uh, you just have to choose yes I'm developing this stuff for a client I'm gonna leave it a no and click on next all right so from here they're gonna be asking us um, do you already have a website if you already do you can come here and choose yes but I'm pretty sure if you're trying to go uh, using this method I'm showing you you probably don't have a website go ahead and pick no you can see from here they will tell you that um, we will create one for you for free and from here they're gonna ask you what do you want to use like put in the name you want to use dot company dot site that's gonna be the, um, the domain so I can actually just go ahead and just uh, you know leave this um, tech hub and just click on uh, next and here it says the domain tech hub is already taken I can take the pot hub click on next you know just you know you just get the idea around this whole thing you can actually just go ahead find something that actually works for you this is just for the tutorial sake and from here it's gonna show us um, um, the plan uh, we're gonna be making use of the free plan actually and just go ahead and hover around, um, on this click on create a store it's free you can see from here um, free plan forever uh, easy online store to launch your business for free zero dollar you can see it there and from here if you're going to be using this uh, other um, plan this one costs 14 dollar per month and they're going to be billing you uh, 19 dollars uh, annually month to month if you uh, take it for annually and from here you can see uh, it has 38 features uh, you can just go ahead and uh, pl uh, play around all this uh, stuff here but for this tutorial I'm not going to uh, touch I'm not going to include any of all these uh, special features here I'm focusing on this free one here go ahead click on create a store and once you click on create a store it's going to take you to your dashboard all right so from here you can actually see that we have we need to fill up one two three four five steps for us to get to 100 percent there and the first part here is going to be set up your website and storefront uh just come over here click on it it's going to open a new tab for you and from here you're going to actually uh you can actually select the team you want okay if i click on team you can actually pick the team you want there are lots of theme here that you can use if you're a photographer if you're into um, pastry you know cooking and the rest of that if you're into uh, fitness you can see that a lot of team you can use and for for this video sake I'm just gonna uh, you know pick something that is just gonna be calm okay I'm just gonna go ahead and make use of uh, this one here I'm gonna use this team here okay yeah this is a very good one yes this is a very good one okay I'm gonna go ahead right now and choose the headline and cover image you can see from here you can actually edit what should be on your headline in this uh if you just edit it like this you can edit that and pick whatever you want okay you can actually choose your items how you want them to be aligned to the right side you can choose this to the right side or left like this you know play around you know something like this but leave it on full screen so when you scroll the view stories come comes upon over it like an overlay that's a good one um the the button label here which says view star is actually this button here and you can actually edit it you can just uh, let me just click uh change it to shop sorry shop now okay so now anything I do here you have to make sure you click on save because it's gonna be uh, a, a problem if you just um, make a lot of changes and you forgot to press your save but go ahead and click on save so this is what you can do from here you can go back from here that says store we can come here and check out some other features here uh, product card border like product page so from here what you want 
uh, what how you want your product page to uh, display. You can actually uh, remove the description. You can add it up there. You can remove the share button, which is this one here. And from here, you can remove the product name, but you shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so uh, when you're done with those settings, uh, let me just take you guys real quick over this part here. From here, you can change the, the about, uh, the about uh, that shows, uh, yeah, this is the about here. So the location from here, if you click on it, you can actually edit the location from the contact information. If you click on that, you'll be able to edit your, your phone number, your email, or uh, uh, if you want to also add another, other kinds of um, communication, like your Instagram and the rest, if you add it there. And that's just everything about uh, the, the website. Let's say for instance, okay, uh, the about us is from here and you can actually go ahead and just put customer uh, testi testimony and you can just add more, you know, add more. I think you can add only maximum of uh, four. Okay, so from here, you can actually go ahead and edit the customer's quote, what the customer actually said. You can change their name. You can also change the uh, caption. Uh, you see how it goes. You can come here. This one says caption uh, Los Angeles. I think the, the, the caption is like, where they stay or something, you can go ahead and edit all those. You can also do something crazy, change the photo. That's one very good thing you can do. Okay, when you're done with this part, just click on save. Or oh, that's one good feature you should not forget. And you can actually go ahead and arrange your sections. You can see, you can, you see if you, once you hover, you can, it's just gonna take you right there. You can drag this, you know, like this, you can drag that. You know, play around this whole thing. There's basically uh, everything you can do here. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on um, go back to store dashboard. So right now, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually add products to your shop. All right. After your um, you after you you're done setting up your website and storefront, go ahead and just uh, tick on this check mark here, and you can see we're at thirty three percent. And you can actually, uh, the, the next step here right now is uh, add, add your product or service. And once I click on that, it's gonna take us to this page here. And you can see all the sample products here. All you need to do is just uh, go ahead and delete all the sample products. Uh, as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and just delete all sample products, yes. Okay, so this is how we can actually add uh, a product. Uh, let's say, for instance, uh, Alibaba. We go to the alibaba.com and there is this, uh, let's say, uh, keyboard gaming. Gaming keyboard. Oh, that does a new search. Okay. Okay, okay. This one here, it goes for uh, $14, $15. Uh, you can see. Oh yeah, that's just the idea. You just go into uh, if you're into like uh, let's say, uh, just small um product like let's say, lint, lint re lint remover. Oh, click on that one. Okay, yeah, this is a very good lint remover. Okay, you can actually just uh come around here. And let's say we actually want to get this one. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and just click on the item. And from here, we can just go ahead and just uh, copy the name, Lint Remover, uh, Lint Remover. Uh, you can actually just go ahead and just copy uh, Dog Lint Remover, okay, for Lint Remover. And we go uh, into, uh, uh, we go back to the the website and then we can just click here that says add new products and from here we're just gonna go ahead and paste that name there and you can just go ahead to the website okay here and check out the pictures uh, you can just actually go ahead and save the pictures 
that you get from there. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and save like uh, two. Okay, now we've downloaded two of those pictures. You know, um, sellers online don't actually uh, bother if you actually use their pictures in your own sales. Okay, so it's um, it's you're free to use it. Come back here, click on upload image. I'm just going to select these two and click on open. Once we open it up. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to go ahead and just change the, the currency. Okay, Philippine pesos and I'll just save it. All right, so from here, you can see that I can be uh, getting this uh, product here for um, 65 point, uh, let's just call this uh, 66 pesos, but you can actually go ahead and just list this item for um, uh, around, you know, 100 pesos. So, you know, that is like, you're actually making a very good profit for each item. I'm just like, this is just the concept of how to go about it, you know, and, we can go uh, go here and just put something like uh, 100 peso okay and then from here we can just go ahead and copy the description all right so you can come over here product description and you can just uh, copy the product description from here you know you can actually uh, uh, insert an image as a description just like these people did here download that image Come over here and just click on insert image choose your image uh this was the image there and you're just gonna let it to load automatically it's gonna uh go into that place you can you know download all these pictures as your description and just add it there and once you're done with that don't forget to hit your save okay so from here right now let's just go ahead and just save it Okay, so right now our, our product is uh, saved. Let's go back to um, our dashboard and go ahead and just mark, uh, check on this here. And for the review regional settings, when you open that up, it's gonna take you to this part. You can just go ahead and put in the company email, the company name, your phone number, and set up um your uh, address and stuff like that then you can also from here just go ahead and um get uh, get your store name this is your store uh url and you can edit it if you want to this is your original settings go ahead set all this stuff here all these are just settings that you can you can do okay so from here you can just actually go ahead and play around with all these stuffs here you know uh, this is under the uh, cut and checkout uh, so from here what's, what can you do here show price per unit disabled so from here you, you should actually uh, enable this one uh, ask for a zip code uh, postal code you have to enable that and then you have to go down okay and ask for a billing address during checkout your customer's billing address will be collected at checkout. You need this information that you'll be using to uh, do the drop shipping to your customers. Enable that one. And then from here, uh, I think there is, I think everything is, is okay. Everything here is, everything here is good. Okay. You just click on save. Everything there is good. Just click on save and go to your dashboard again and just check on this and show how to deliver your goods click on that come over here you can add your shipping if you click on that you can just go ahead and set up the shipping that the, they're going to give you the option there um let's just go back right now and you can you can use a local delivery uh deliver deliver yourself in cities or uh, suburbs you know okay you can go ahead and just do self pick up depends on how you want to actually ship your item okay i'm just gonna go ahead now and just go back to dashboard check on that check on how to deliver then it, this is the last option here setting up your payment method uh sorry uh 
I'm just going to click on it on that right now. Okay, so from here, the best, um, one of the best methods here is, uh, your Stripe and your PayPal. Um, so all you need to do is just actually, um, uh, change the PayPal account and make sure it's your PayPal account. Then once you've, once you've, um, followed the whole PayPal prompt, then just click on enable PayPal, you know, you enable the PayPal and it's, it's going to actually just show you at the top. Yeah. You can, you can actually offer, um, uh, pay by pay by cash. If you're uh you, you, you're just starting a business, I will actually advise you to uh not implement this for the meantime. So you can actually get the the buyer's money to your PayPal and then go to the website and order it straight to the to the to the to the buyer's address. The item doesn't actually need to uh, uh be in your hand. Like for instance, go to the website if it's Alibaba, Amazon. Go ahead, um, order the item. Uh, the money that the buyer has paid from your PayPal directly, you will pay for the item and they will ship it directly to the buyer. The item is not going to uh, come in contact with you. That is how good this um, uh, online store actually is. Okay, so let's go back here and turn off this option. And that's everything here. That's it. That is everything here, except you want to add other payment method. But for me, PayPal is enough or the uh, Stripe. Okay, so that's everything. Go to, back to my dashboard and check on this one. All right, we are 100% uh, done right now. And you can see when I click on um, our our link here, it took us to this uh, place here. Okay, so this is our, our website right now. And this is what it looks like, but we want to make a little bit um, edits to this thing. So we have to go here and then uh, we have to click on this one here. So from here, just go ahead and click on site appearance. Click on edit. And from here, we can actually go ahead and just click on here that says store. And you can actually change the picture like this. One is to one. You can put it on center. You can, you can put it on left, you can, but this is the best center. Uh, product card, uh, product card border. You can go ahead, give it that nice look. One page product catalog. Uh, you can leave that one uh, as just off. Click on this part, product name, show, and some other stuffs here. Uh, additional uh, product image, do not show. Let's put it in show. So that when we hover, we can actually, you know, show you another item. Okay. And that is pretty much okay. Buy now button so that you can show it so that you can actually see that there. Okay. So you can actually uh, darken the image background. You can see darken it a little bit and category name position show on the image. Okay. This is pretty much every good thing that you can do here click on save all right guys so this is pretty much everything let me now show you how it actually works when i come here i reload this page um yeah this is our new page you can actually go ahead and put a video here <laughs> okay this is one more point here you can put a video running here uh this is how to do it and then come over to this header line scroll down and background option you can actually use a video from here you can use a gradient you can also upload your own image you know come over like this is a lot of things to edit here but you can actually do this in a very short period of time and then set up your store for your buyers all right after the whole edit this is what our store now looks like and once a buyer comes here they will actually just go ahead and just uh, click on buy now and that item will add into cart. Okay. You can, they can go ahead and add it to, uh, add it to their bag. Okay. Once they add it to their bag and they're going to click on this part here, it's going to show them the, the, the payment method, which you actually chose, which is PayPal. 
and they're just going to go ahead and uh, put in their email address and leave us a note button here they're going to pay with uh, paypal and once they pay you the money with paypal and then the money goes into your uh, paypal account then you then you the seller uh go ahead to the website which you'll be using and ship the item to the the buyer that is how easy this cook uh, this stuff can be all right guys so if you actually find this video helpful and you found value in this video that you are watching right now don't forget to give the video a like for the youtube algorithm i really do appreciate that and you can also consider subscribing to the channel because of course it's free okay guys see you guys in the next one peace out